Dragon Rush is one of the most important mechanics in DBFZ, essentially serving as a universal throw mix-up that's available to all characters. It's a big deal. Regardless of who you play or who you're up against, it's important to use it well and defend against it effectively. What's the purpose of this guide? Well, I want to help people defend against Dragon Rush consistently and also help them use it more effectively on offense. Let's start with defense. When should we be looking for Dragon Rush? In general, Dragon Rush is most likely to be used when the opponent is in a plus situation, most commonly after an assist or a jump in. Anytime that someone has clear frame advantage, a Dragon Rush is likely to follow. Sometimes people will also stagger into Dragon Rush, but this carries risk for the attacker, since they frequently have to worry about the opponent gambling mashing out, hard tagging, or jumping away. You don't need to be ready to tech Dragon Rush all of the time. Just recognize when it's a likely option and look for it in that brief moment. Which buttons should we use to tech Dragon Rush? Well, you can tech with any button you want, but the timing is a little tight. If you hit the button too early, then your attack will start to come out, and the Dragon Rush might counter its startup. If you're trying to react to Dragon Rush, then using your own Dragon Rush is the most consistent option. If two Dragon Rushes make contact with each other, they get teched, and both characters will be safe. This doesn't mean there's no value in teching with buttons though. Oftentimes, you can beat other offensive options while still covering Dragon Rush. Keep in mind though that since you're trying to call out specific options, this turns your Dragon Rush tech into a guess instead of a reaction. If properly timed, 2H can beat left-right mix-up while also teching Dragon Rush. Or you can do the same with Vanish, which could beat a 6M, command grabs, or other tools. Just be careful because these can be called out specifically by your opponent. But should we always try to react to Dragon Rush? Or can we guess sometimes? In many games, teching throws is more of a proactive choice rather than a reaction. For example, the idea of teching a throw while covering other offensive options is a major part of Undernight and Birth. Dragon Rush being reactable contributes towards making consistent defense a realistic goal in DBFC. Just be careful that if you focus on reacting to Dragon Rush too much, the opponent can get away with other mix-ups or simply resetting their pressure. Just as the opponent has to mix up their offensive options, you need to mix up how you choose to defend. Sometimes, choose to be proactive with your defense, and other times, choose to be reactionary. Next, what can we do after teching Dragon Rush? For starters, you don't have your double jump or air dash available after teching Dragon Rush. Characters with fast air specials can attempt to bully their way back in afterwards and possibly convert with Vanish or stay plus with an assist. But these options almost always have answers available to counter them. You'll need to test what options are available against each character you fight. Remember, if you're unsure what you can do against a specific character, just chilling out and blocking is usually fine. Do we always have to tech Dragon Rush though? Sometimes calling it out with some well-timed mashing can be worth it, or jumping away to make it whiff can be rewarding as well. Jump Super Dash is an option as well. This sort of approach is very high reward, but even higher risk, so be careful. We've covered defending against Dragon Rush, but how can we use it more effectively on offense? Offense is a broad piece of the game, and Dragon Rush is just one small component of it. For starters, how can we make Dragon Rush harder to tech? If we're strictly trying to be tricky, we can mask it with an assist, such as Trunks, Frieza, or Broly. Or, we can use it before an assist becomes active. If someone's respecting you, this is really tricky. But if someone's not respecting you, it's a good way to get happy birthday, so be very careful. The other way to make reacting to Dragon Rush situations more difficult is to give the opponent something else to think about. No one can look for everything, and we can all get conditioned sometimes. Use other mix-ups in the same situations where you're using Dragon Rush. If you focus on one option for mixing someone up, it gets easier for them to defend against it. But if you use a variety of options, then all of those options will have a higher chance of succeeding. Next, 
I kind of just want to ramble about various Dragon Rush things that aren't strictly related to offense or defense. Dragon Rush is often used to snap in characters before they can recover blue health, while taking away defensive options. This is a pretty big topic, so we'll cover it in detail in a future video. Holding Dragon Rush gives you more hits, more meter, and more damage. Be sure to get every bit you can. Dragon Rush in combos always gives a sliding knockdown. This is especially useful for characters that can't get a good knockdown or combo into super otherwise. Some team synergies allow you to use Dragon Rush to get a sliding knockdown, even when your smash isn't available. If you try to snap in a combo when the opponent only has one character, it will launch them and allow for a combo extension instead. This is very useful for characters that can solo snap in the corner, like GT Goku or Bardock. And finally, you can't Dragon Rush twice in a combo, so be careful if you want to snap or use it as an extension after Dragon Rush starters. Before I forget, I want to give you an easy way to practice teching Dragon Rush properly, since it can be easy to miss time in the heat of the moment. Training mode allows you to record a bot doing whatever you want, with multiple save slots. Set up a few different recordings that all begin the same way, you don't want to be able to tell them apart from the very beginning. Have them start with a plus situation, such as a jump in or an assist call, and then drag and rush and add whatever other options you want to throw in. For example, if I wanted to practice covering Dragon Rush and left-right mix-up, then I could add those offensive options into the mix. Once your recordings are ready, set them to play back at random, and start practicing. Your goal should be to time your button press to beat the options you set up, while still teching Dragon Rush. If you're still struggling to tech the Dragon Rush, pay attention to why you might be mistiming it, and adjust your timing sooner or later as needed. Good luck, I know you can do it. And with that, I think we're done. I know that Dragon Rush is a topic that's pretty simple and many people already understand, but it's so fundamental to the game that I just wouldn't feel comfortable moving on to more complex topics if I didn't cover this first. With that said, I hope this video taught you something new, or at least reminded you of something important. I'm already at work on the next character guides but classes are really picking up for me at the moment, so they might take a little while. I appreciate your patience. I'll have more for you guys soon. Thanks for watching.